Hello everyone, it's Carly and welcome back to my channel. Today we're in my bedroom and we're finally doing it. We are finally doing the mid-year empties video. I love doing these videos, but I also love watching them. I think it's fun to see not only like what your favorite products are, but what you wouldn't repurchase, what's worth it, what's not, that sort of thing. And it's also nice because I've been keeping this trash for so long, it's nice to finally get rid of it. So anyway, I'm excited to dive into it. Before we get into the video, I wanted to remind you guys, if you are enjoying my content and if you like my videos, please, please consider subscribing. It helps me out a ton and it also just like helps build our community and it lets me know like what I'm doing on here is not worth it because I would be doing it anyway, but it, that you guys are liking what I'm doing. And also, Sebastian gave me the cutest, sweetest gift ever and it says open when you reach a thousand subscribers and I think we're like 300, just a little bit over 300 away and I really want to open my gift. So it would really help a lot if you guys like my videos and come back to my channel. Just subscribe. It makes it easier. It makes it more fun, right, when you're supporting my channel. And it means so much to me. Um, so yeah, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you enjoy these types of videos. And let's just hop right in. The first thing is that I just, I'm kind of going to go randomly. Um, but it's the Wet n Wild photo focus foundation I actually this is not empty but I wanted to include it in here because I cannot continue using this I wanted to love this so much because I felt like I've heard such great things about it I do not have dry skin and this just left like dry patchy marks all over my face so that was a definite no for me and I would not buy that again um, the first thing I see at the top are a couple of these wipes these are the simple um, sensitive skin micellar cleansing wipes I love these to take off my eye makeup if you guys saw my um, evening skincare routine I love those and I definitely repurchase them every single time I'm out the next thing is just this Catrice cosmetics prime and fine dewy glow fixing spray I used this up because it was pretty good but I felt like it kind of irritated my skin a little bit like when I would use it every single day consecutively, I felt like I would break out a little bit, but here and there it was fine to use, but I probably won't repurchase that. I didn't love it. This is my Dove Exfoliating Body Polish, uh, Crushed Macadamia and White er, and Rice Milk. So good, I love this exfoliator. I've talked about it before, it's so good. I've repurchased it, I love it so much. Um, this stuff you guys know I love, this is the S. GX, I can never say this, the SGX NYC Do It All Spray, the texture spray. I absolutely love, love this. Some more simple wipes. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Coconut 3 in 1 Primer. I did repurchase this and I absolutely love this. It's so good to prime and set your makeup with. I just, I love it so, so much. Ooh, this is a new one. This is the L'Oreal Paris. Oh, I can't say this, but this is like the hairspray that all of like the bloggers use and I love this. I picked this up on our honeymoon and I just got a travel size just so I could take it everywhere with me and I absolutely love this hairspray. It's so good. I have one um, Kristen S. The Signature Conditioner. You guys know if you watched my vlog just recently that I just picked this back up because I love it. I love the scent. I love the way it makes my hair feel. It's so good. This is the Simple Micellar Water. I've actually kind of been off of micellar waters. I don't really pick them up anymore. This one is very good. It's very gentle for your skin, which I love, but I just like breaking up my makeup with a like an oil or a balm um, more than like a micellar water, so I don't purchase those anymore. If you do like those, that one is a particularly good one. I have two of the Joyco. <laughs> I have two of the Joyco uh, Moisture Recovery. These I got from Costco, and they last me such a long time. I actually put these in our guest bathroom for like guests, obviously, but I didn't go through it super fast. Um, and I just like to pick up the Kristen S. I do like Joyco, but for some reason I haven't really been buying them anymore. But I finally finished it up. This is the Dr. Teal's Lavender Little bath salts i love these this is such a like good bang for your buck um you don't go through it pretty often and i just love bath salts in my tub they're my favorite so i definitely repurchased those 
These I absolutely love. These are the Peach Slices Acne Spot Dots. Talked about these lots and lots on my channel and I continue to repurchase them. The only thing that's hard is like I don't go to a Walgreens or a CVS often. Like I just don't really go there. So every time I'm there I try to stock up. Um, but I do really love those. Another one of these simple wipes. I love these and for some reason I go through them so fast. It's insane. Um, this is another bath salt. These are just the Petal Fresh. I think I got these at like a TJ Maxx or something. Oh no, I got this at Ross. <laughs> I got these in the lavender. I do like Dr. Teal's a little bit better. I just feel like the fragrance comes off a little bit more. Um, so yeah, bath salts, love them. This is the Dr. Teal's body lotion in milk and honey. And this is my favorite lotion to use. I love putting this all over my body after every shower or like bath. Um, just because it, it has a scent of that milk and honey, but it's so subtle and just makes you smell good and like clean and fresh, but it doesn't, I feel like I can still wear perfume over top. Um, I love this stuff so, so, so much. It's so good. I have another one of the Dove Exfoliating Body Polishes. I love this, you guys know. Well, I had two, right? Oh yeah, so good, I love it. I buy the same things. I feel like even if you don't have a YouTube channel, it would be fun to like hold on to your products to see like what you buy a lot of. Um, again, the peach slices, I love those. Oh, this was, so I'm not gonna throw this away. I'm gonna keep it because I'm so weird. But Sebastian for Christmas got me the Zoella Soak Opera like body wash. <gasps> this one's actually very, very good. I use this like, I like to use a body wash as like my washer and not like a soap like a bar soap um and this was really good it did kind of make my skin you know like when you can't really like it like tugs it's not the best for like moisture um she's trying you know but i felt like the scent was very good but it's not my favorite so i won't repurchase but i just love Zoella. So we're going to keep that. I have an empties of the, which is crazy. I feel like I never really have like bronzer or blush, but this, oh, I just spilled all over our bed. Oh no. I knew that was going to happen. I knew there was going to be a catastrophe. Oh, this question's calling. Oh, okay. I had to clean that up very quickly. I don't know why I went to open it. Just so you guys know, like that wasn't lying. I don't know. <laughs> um, but this is the butter bronzer in, I don't even know, just as the light bronzer. This smells so good. I have another one. I always repurchase. Well, I guess not always because I don't go through fast enough, but, um, I did, oh, I keep spilling. I did repurchase this. Um, it's such a good bronzer. It's good for the summer when I'm pretty tan and it's also very good when I'm pretty fair in the winter. So it's just nice to have one that you can take with you all of the seasons. Um, but yeah, I really love this stuff. I have another Peach Slice Acne Dots forever. I'm telling you, these are like two, maybe three dollars. So good. Even Sebastian likes them. He'll be like, when are you gonna pick up more? <laughs> um, this is the Trader Joe's Coconut Body Butter. This stuff is so good. If you wanna know what I smell like in the summer, it's this, it's so good. It smells like coconut, but it also is very like sweet, almost smells like icing. It's so, so, so good, very moisturizing. I like the tube that it comes in, like it just plops open. I don't love sticking my fingers in it, especially with my nails being a little bit long, but with this, I will do it, you know? I just love it so much. Uh, this is the Simple Replenishing rich moisture uh moisturizer i like this this is a very good one just very simple and straightforward for like a morning or daytime moisturizer for nighttime i like something a little bit thicker um so it's not like my favorite i didn't repurchase it but i would go back to it because it is just so simple and gentle for my skin i have the mario badescu facial spray with aloe cucumber and green tea I think I chatted about this in my evening skincare routine as well. I love picking up facial sprays. This one is such a good one to have, as well as the lavender one. Oh, I have, an <laughs> I have another one of the Mario Badescu. I love facial sprays. I don't know what it is. I just love buying them. They're so fun to have. I have a little mini, oh, there's an airplane. 
I have a little baby Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. My mom picked this up for us when we were in Ulta, just like in the little section where all the mini stuff is, and it was very good. I love the Tarte Shape Tape, um, but I also have been loving the e.l.f. like dupe for it. I really like it. So I didn't repurchase this just because I have that e.l.f. one. I really wanted to try this. This is the Dr. Bronner's the Castile Soap or whatever it's called. I really wanted to try this because lots of people said that they um, wash their makeup brushes with it and it's been really good. I haven't repurchased it just because I feel like I wash my makeup brushes with just like olive oil and soap. So to me this was like an extra that I didn't really need in my life. But it was a good soap. It made my brushes feel good. It cleaned them off but I felt like I could do the same thing with my own like remedy. Uh, so I didn't repurchase it because I just, I don't know, what else would you use that for, you know? But anyway, I have another one of the Wet n Wild Coconut Primers. I love this. Obviously repurchased this. Oh, it's sad that I don't have my other one, but this was my first Glossier Super Pure uh, little serum. It's funny because, yeah, I lost my one that I was almost done with. I lost it on our honeymoon. Um, I will link the honeymoon vlogs above. But I actually have been using Versed. So this is the one I've been using now, the Versed Just Breathe Clarifying Serum. And I have been obsessed with this brand ever since I found it. It's at Target and I love them. I love what they're doing on their Instagram. They do so much like ingredient education, skincare education on their products and everything. And this has been working beautifully. I've almost been tempted to just keep buying this one instead of the super, super pure one. This one's so much more expensive. This one is absolutely affordable, easy to get. You don't have to ship it out. I have just been loving the way that it's making my skin feel. So I obviously will repurchase this just because I like to have this on hand when my skin needs a little bit more help. But right now my skin is going through a nice little calm stage. And I really think this, that this has been helping. Um, so I will continue on with this, but I definitely recommend checking out the Versed brand, they're just, I love what they're doing and I really like them. I have a little baby Tresemme hairspray. I don't know why I got this. I think maybe this was, no. I don't know why I have a little baby one, but I love this. I usually get the big one um, at Target and this is usually my go-to hairspray, but I'm gonna repurchase this one in a bigger size because I loved it so much. I have the shampoo for the Kristen S signature shampoo. Again, I repurchased this, of course. I always repurchase this. It's such an easy one to pick up, and I recently listened to her on Lauren Conrad's Asking for a Friend podcast, and I just adore her. I felt like it was so educational. I learned so much on like two-in-one shampoos and like masks and stuff, so I would definitely check out that podcast if you like podcasts, but it made me want to buy everything of her product, which <sighs> Such a marketing sucker, but she just, I loved her. I have a little Kiehl's hand cream that I went through. I love to have just little baby hand creams in my purse, at work, just easy to go. I think the only thing I hated about this was like how it comes out. Like I had to tap it on. It just bugged me <laughs> towards the end, um, but the smell was great and I just love anything Kiehl's. I have my Glossier Mint Balm.com. I talked about this in my skincare routine. I love this. I repurchased the original scent, but I like the mint so much better. So once the original is done, I will repurchase the mint. It's my favorite. It makes me feel so clean and on my lips and it's so hydrating. I love that formulation. Oh, lastly, we have like all of my makeup bits. Oh, before I get into that, I have the Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. I just got a little baby one of this when I was in New York just to give it a try. Oh, I absolutely love this. It's such an easy and gentle morning cleanser. Um, so I definitely repurchased this because I love it so much. I love Glossier. I think the only thing I hate about it is that it's online. I do not like buying things online. I just want to like instantly get it and have that gratification at the store. Um, so moving on lastly to my makeup bits, which is funny how that worked out. But this is the Born This Way Too Faced foundation. I love this stuff if I'm looking for like a higher end foundation. This is what I always go to. I love it so much. I actually need to repurchase that because I love to wear that in the summer. 
Um, and I'm just feeling like my foundation game is lacking. Like every time I come home from work, I just hate the way that I look. So I need to repurchase that immediately. I have a CoverGirl, a little mascara. I love this one. I have another one in my drawer because I love this for the bottom lashes. It's so good. And then I have an e.l.f., like a random e.l.f. intense ink eyeliner. I don't even know why I have this, but I don't really wear eyeliner often, but this is... I don't even remember. This was probably not good because I don't like, I don't like when they're like that. Like, I just, I don't like the way that they look. I like a, like, gel pot with a brush, so this was not good. I have two, um, NYX Micro Brow Pencils. I love these. They are my favorite. Currently, I'm using a CoverGirl one, which I've actually been loving a lot. These ones are surprisingly a little bit pricey. I think NYX is just, like, on the pricier side of a drugstore, I feel like. And for an eyebrow pencil, I just would rather find something cheaper. Um, so I've been using the CoverGirl one, and I really like it. It has the same little my this is out so I can't show you but it's very mini and it's like built exactly the same as this which I love um so I will let you guys know if I repurchase the covergirl one but I have been really enjoying it so I don't see why not um then I have the flower light illusion full coverage concealer I absolutely hated this I felt like maybe because the color was so off but I just hate this I don't know I haven't really had a lot of luck with flower beauty or whatever it's called I just I wanted to love it because I love Drew Barrymore but I have not found anything that I love besides the like little face sponge I did love that but I just let me know what you guys like from there or if there's anything I'm missing I just have stopped trying because I feel like everything I pick up I don't like it <laughs> that is everything look at this mess below me. I have to now throw it all away. It feels so good to finally get things out of my closet and out of this trash bag. I now need to wash my sheets because I spilled all that bronzer everywhere. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Leave some of your favorites. If you've tried any of my empties, let me know down below and let me know if you like them or would we purchase them. And don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye!